Hey Hamilton, we're here at the Hamilton Health and Wellness Center and I'm here with Dr. Sarah Penny and we are making the greatest shake ever. Right? Indeed, yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to make a great nutritional smoothie. I recommend this for a lot of my patients who find it hard to find the time to fit in breakfast or have a low appetite in the morning. This is something that's really okay. This is and everybody that we know. Easy to get down, yeah. Get the protein in with the nutritional stuff in the morning. Yeah. On yeah. the go. Absolutely, so what I like to start out my, with in my smoothie is some berries. Berries are great because they don't spike your blood sugar because they're a low glycemic index fruit. And then next I add about half a banana to the smoothie. I find that uh, this is a good amount of sweetness. Now, I like to um, cut my bananas in half and freeze them to make the smoothie mm -hmm. a little bit colder. It's great because you don't have to add any extra ice. And it's easier if you take the peel off first before you put them in the freezer. Absolutely. Yeah, Trust they're, me. They're impossible <laughs> to peel if you don't. Yeah. Okay, and the next thing I like to add to my smoothies is two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Ground flax is a great source of both soluble and insoluble fiber, which can help keep your bowels regular, which is mm -hmm. very important. Um, but you need to have it ground to get the nutrients. We don't yeah. naturally digest flax, so. And I'm it gives it a in. really nice flavor. Definitely, chia is another good option mm -hmm. for um, for fiber, but I, I prefer the uh, the taste and texture of flax more personally. Perfect. Yeah. Next, I'm going to add some protein powder. Um, I've got here a whey isolate powder. Whey, whey protein is actually the best absorbed form of protein that we have. Um, it, it is safe for people who are lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. There's very low lactose in, in the whey isolate. Uh, if you are looking for a vegan source of protein or uh, prefer a non-dairy source, pea protein is actually the best absorbed kind of hmm. plant protein. Yeah, which is kind of interesting. It is. And so I'm going to add some unsweetened almond milk to this today. Almond milk is my milk alternative of choice. Among my patients, I do find that dairy is a common food sensitivity mm -hmm. that can cause a variety of, uh, of health concerns. So I'm going to add some of this in. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add some, uh, I'll, I'll let you do oh, that, okay. Monica. Well, oh yeah, since I was uh, already <laughs> sticking my hands in there. <laughs> add, some, add some spinach in here, because for most of us, we need to get our, our veggies in wherever we can. So, I'm gonna put the top on this. Yep, so we've got in there the protein, we've got fiber, we've got... Uh, phytonutrients from the spinach and the, the fruits and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's all it takes, and it's it's so easy to do, and look what I got. <laughs> Greg, none for you. <laughs> Stay healthy, Hamilton.